The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, attempts to explore the early life of Coriolanus Snow, Panem's eventual autocratic ruler, but ultimately falls short of capturing the emotional depth and complexity that defined the original series. Despite its visual grandeur and strong performances, the film struggles with its narrative and thematic execution, leaving much to be desired. The story follows a young Snow as he navigates the Tenth Hunger Games, offering a glimpse into the early years of Panem's brutal tradition. While the premise has potential, the execution feels disjointed and rushed. The pacing fluctuates wildly. Some scenes linger unnecessarily, while others are hurried, leaving key plot points underdeveloped. The screenplay lacks the intricacy that fans of Suzanne Collins' novels might expect, glossing over pivotal moments that could have added richness to the narrative. One of the film's significant missteps is its depiction of Coriolanus Snow. Portrayed as a young man trapped by circumstance, the character comes across more as a victim of his environment than the morally ambiguous figure readers and viewers are familiar with. The film hints at his eventual transformation into a ruthless dictator, but never fully delves into the complexities of his motivations or moral decay. This portrayal risks oversimplifying a character that should be layered and thought-provoking. Dr. Volumnia Gall, the film's primary antagonist, also suffers from shallow characterization. While played with a menacing presence, her motivations remain vague, and her character arc feels incomplete compared to the antagonists of the original series, who were compelling in their malevolence, Gaul lacks the depth and charisma needed to make her a memorable villain. Visually, however, the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes excels. The production design captures the stark contrast between the opulence of the capital and the bleakness of the districts with meticulous attention to detail. The costumes are a feast for the eyes, reflecting the capital's decadence, and the special effects bring the Hunger Games arena to life with chilling realism. These elements enhance the film's atmosphere, but they cannot mask its narrative shortcomings. The film touches on themes of class disparity, the corrupting influence of power, and ambition. But these ideas are explored superficially. Unlike the original series, which delved deeply into these issues with thought-provoking nuance, this installment feels content to skim the surface. The moral complexities and ethical dilemmas that made the Hunger Games resonate so powerfully are largely absent here. In conclusion, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, is a visually stunning but narratively underwhelming addition to the franchise. While diehard fans may appreciate its connection to the series, it is unlikely to leave a lasting impression on new audiences or those seeking the depth of the original trilogy. It's a missed opportunity to expand Panem's universe with the same resonance and sophistication that made its predecessors iconic.